Kruger National Park, South Africa's premier wildlife destination. It's peak season and the park is inundated with visitors, many hopeful to spot a rhino. I've been here twice. Um, I haven't seen a rhino, to be quite honest. It really is sad and cruel that so many in a year get poached. Been to donate some money also on this rhino poaching to stop it. Animals is such a nice animal. Why are the people killing them? We love them, we don't kill them. Kruger is the hardest hit by poachers. Scores of rhino pay the ultimate price for their horns, believed to have medicinal and therapeutic properties. They are most valuable than gold in Asian markets. One of the most dramatic measures to curb the scourge is relocating rhino to safer parts of the park, private resorts and neighboring countries. Uh, continue to implement the integrated plan that we agreed upon. Part of it is translocation of our rhinos from these hot spots in particular. Where we are today is one of the hot spots where rhinos are actually being poached because the poachers are quite close by and they find easy, find easy entry. But we're focusing mainly on the younger animals. And the reason for that is, is that they, they can fit into these new environments a lot easier than the old animals, and particularly the big territorial bulls. If we start moving territorial bulls, they're going to have trouble adapting because when they go to the new areas, they'll come in contact with the, the current resident bulls, and then that's potential for them fighting and for animals getting injured and possibly even killed. Strides have been on the prosecution side in July, a landmark ruling. The Nelspreet court found Mandla Chauke guilty of rhino poaching. He was sentenced to a record 77 years behind bars, with 47 years suspension. By early December, 344 people were arrested in connection with poaching. Most are foreign nationals and remain in custody. We ask four things of the government. No bail for suspected rhino poachers especially those that are not South African citizens. The government should apply for the extradition of known poachers from Mozambique or any other country where such criminals are residing. Poachers knows no boundaries. A black rhino and her calf have been killed in Namibia. The little horn stumps of the calves were even sawed off. 24 rhino have been poached in the country in the last four months. Conservation groups warn if the killing continues at this rate, rhino deaths could overtake births in the next two to four years. Dumela Macho, SABC News.